All right, and welcome back to the third video in the series of adventures with this CTS wardrobe thing and getting it set up. So we got our RLV folder set up in the last one because I have to have an RLV folder for things to work remotely so that the wardrobe can talk to my inventory over here. And then I made some folders that took me probably three or four weeks to think about of how I wanted to organize all of these items, which now it's grown since the last time because I did some shopping. But anyway, so there's the RLV folder. So the next thing we're going to do in this video is to take a look at the wardrobe HUD itself. So I'm going to type in wardrobe and that's the folder I want. And then I'm going to close my search and there it is so this is our cts wardrobe folder and we want to add the wardrobe head and take a look at that so let's right click and add dun, 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 dun. it pops up at the bottom there it is there it is there it is so this is small um what does this do oh <laughs> it minimizes it okay I got you so that'll minimize it and make it just a little tiny HUD down there and of course you should be yeah you can move this around to wherever you want it on your screen I'm gonna move it over here for the moment because I want to show you um, what all these little buttons mean and I will link to the websites that I go to in the show notes so you can see it and where I'm getting this because there's a user manual on the um, Carlisle Thea Solutions website, which is where the HUD came from, the creator. And there's actually, if you scroll up, see this user manual? And she's got all this stuff on here to be able to use this easily. So this tells you what all the buttons do. And of course, we're not gonna do all the buttons right now, <laughs> but I did want you to know that this is out there because that's what I'm gonna be looking at. So it tells you, like the little cameras take a snapshot, this opens a menu, minimize the HUD, which I just discovered, scan and search mar marketplace. I'm sure we'll figure that out. See, it tells it over here. Scans, rest boxes, da 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 da. Um, stop posing or stand up, I guess when you're using the pose stand, previous, next pose res or configure a post stand, which we'll be doing that if I have to take pictures, which I'm sure I will. Um, restore camera angle, switch between camera angles, and save camera angle. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, she breaks it down over here on the right side and then links to different things that you can jump to in the, um, what's that thing called? User manual. That's right. So I wanted to show you that so that you know it's out there and I'll probably reference that quite a bit as I'm learning how to use this thing right okay so next thing with the HUD so now I actually want to get to my wardrobe so I can start um, adding things to it because that's the whole point right so I'm gonna come down to my HUD and if you click on the little wardrobe button in the middle it's going to bring up a pop-up box and it gives you a web address to open your wardrobe and it has me as the owner because this is the one that I bought very very important and this is why you can't see my address this link that we have is private just to you and you never ever 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 want to give this link to anyone else to look at your wardrobe because you can actually create shared links where you if you want somebody to be able to see your wardrobe access your wardrobe that kind of stuff you can make a link for them and give them specific permissions so never ever give this one out if you want somebody to see your wardrobe share your wardrobe or anything like that you'll create a separate link for them and of course we'll do that in another video not this one so I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy this and then we are going to open my wardrobe and see what's in there. 
Dun, 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 dun. So here is my wardrobe. Yay. And when you first go in here, it's going to give you a welcome to wardrobe. And then they have gifts from designers that you can pick up. So for free because they're gifts. But anyway, um, so to receive a gift, gift, teleport to the designer's in-world shop and look for the wardrobe gift board. You'll receive the gift when you touch the board. Corresponding item will be automatically imported to your wardrobe. So all these little things right here are free gifts that you can go grab and get them put into your wardrobe. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm on a mission to deal with the 25,000 items that I currently have. So let's close that. Okay. Please select a server, regular or premium. You know what? We're not going to do premium right now. <laughs> we are going to do, I need USA. We're going to do the regular one. Okay. Oh, look, there's my guest again. We got to update. What's it say? <sighs> I'm not using the HUD for the latest wardrobe version. Okay, so this means that I'm going to have to update it and get redelivery. I'm not really excited about that, but I'll do it. You know why? Because I don't want stuff to break. <laughs> That's why. Okay, so these are the updates that they did. Okay, so I'll need to go and get a redelivery. That's where I need to go. Where's my copy? Copy link address. Okay, so here we are in my wardrobe. Got my name on it. Isn't that cute? Okay, so tags that we create as we upload stuff are going to show up over here. And that's why, where is it? That's why um, in my RLV folder, I put those symbols in the front because I want my tags to show up in a certain order um, when I do things. So I'll probably be using these, but we'll see what happens. You know, you never know. I could change my mind. You know why? Because it's my prerogative. And if I decide I want to change it, I can change it in the middle. And y'all just have to come with me for the ride. Okay. So all my tags as I add things will show up over here. And then all of my outfits are going to show up or outfits or items, inventory stuff. It's going to show up over here with the pictures, which is the whole point. Um, there is a security thing. Is it under preferences? Yes, preferences and security. And you have your private link, which only you should have, and you should only be able to access. Don't ever give it out, right? Because we can create new links for sharing. It says, do you want to use a password to protect your wardrobe? So that means every time I come to the wardrobe site, I would have to enter my password if I wanted extra security. Um, right now, I'm not going to do that because it's going to take me a bunch of extra time to get in here. So it is in there. I can't add extra security. Might add it later. I don't know. I don't know how to make that choice right now. So here we are. This is all the stuff. Oh, look, there's the gifts. If you want to get back to the gifts, that's how you get there. That's sweet. And I have nothing in here yet. So that's the next thing is we can start putting things in here. Finally. Finally, oh wait, after I update <laughs> and get a redelivery. So I have the new HUD, right? I wonder if I can make this bigger. I know I can move it. Can I make it bigger? Can I stretch it? What? Sure can. Check that out. Okay, good. Can I make it smaller? That's all good right now. Okay, so that's long enough for this video. I'm playing around with that part. Next video, we'll look at this post in and how that whole thing works because I know it has a background and stuff. So let's check that out next. Shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. See you next video. Peace out.